it's Caitlin. Welcome back to What's Good in the Hood. This episode features animal acts, tasty treats, another helpful hands with Helga, super signs, and bloopers. We hope you enjoy. Hi, it's Caitlin and welcome to Animal Acts. Today I'll be teaching my dog Summer how to do a few basic tricks. You can teach your dogs too. So what I like to do to teach Summer tricks is to get a couple treats and put them in a Ziploc bag. Sometimes I break them in half depending on the size. And so I'll show her the treat because she's very food motivated. And then I'll tell her a command and I'll help her out with it if it's something new and she normally listens. Ready, Summer? Come. Sit. Kick ball. High five. Good job. And then I'll give her the treat. Now I'm going to teach my dog how to roll over. So I'll say down. And I'm going to show her the treat and put it behind her. And then she rolls over. Sit. Lay down. Good job. Now ready? Roll over. Good job! Now I'm going to teach my dog how to walk around in a big circle like they do with show dogs. So I'm just going to use the word come and make sure that my dog can see the tree while she walks around in a circle. Come! And once they listen to you well, you can start running. Good job! Keep going! Now sit. High five. Good job. Here you go. <laughs> the last thing I'm going to teach my dog is how to play hide and seek. So I'll make sure that she sees her treat right here. And then this might be hard for some dogs, but I'm going to cover her eyes and throw the treat somewhere. And then she's to sniff around and find it. Go find it. Where is it? Thanks for watching and see you next time on Animal Axe. And welcome back to Tasty Treats. Today we have another Disney inspired treat. We will be making Mickey Mouse pretzels. What you'll need is refrigerated pizza crust, one and a half cups of water, three tablespoons of baking soda, an egg, salt, and flour. Let's get started. First, preheat the oven to 450. Then, flour your workspace. Next, roll out your pizza crust on your floured surface and cut eight strips. Next, we'll get two pieces of our pizza dough and use one of them as the head. So we'll twist it and then 
join both sides together as the head. Then get your second piece and cut in half and these two will be will be the ears. And then repeat with the other pieces. Next, we'll get our circles and put them onto our greased sheet and make it into the Mickey shape. Next, we're gonna mix the baking soda and the water and whisk. Next, we'll use a pastry brush and brush it onto the pretzels. Make sure to not oversaturate or get them very wet. Next, we're going to beat the eggs and then use the pastry brush and paint over the pretzels. Next, sprinkle with salt and then we're ready to bake. Then bake your pretzels for six to eight minutes. All right, our pretzels are all done. This is a fun thing that everyone in your family will like. You can use dipping sauces like cheese or mustard or whatever you like. I hope you enjoy this snack. See you next time on Tasty Treats. Super Science. Hi, I'm Bella, and this is Super Science. Today, we will be making snow fluff. For snow fluff, all you need is one cup of cornstarch and one cup of shaving cream. And food coloring, your choice of color. First, you pour the one cup of cornstarch into your bowl. Then, you take your shaving cream and your spoon and you scoop it out into the bowl. Make sure you do the cornstarch first. Now mix until you get to the consistency that you would like. Until you get to the consistency that you would like. You may need to add more shaving cream if it is too cornstarchy or more cornstarch if it's too sticky. I had to add a couple more scoops of shaving cream and this is what I got. Now I can roll it up into a ball. Before I do that, I'm gonna add about five squirts of food coloring. Right now, it's a little bit marbly. 
blue and white. My world. Keep mixing until it is the right color that you would like. I had to add a little more cornstarch just because it was sticking to my hands a little. Now it's time to play. Hi, it's Kristen, and welcome back to Helpful Hints with Helga. Let's bring her in and see what crazy things she has for us today. Hi Helga, happy to have you back. Oh, thank you Kristen for having me today. I'm delighted to be here. Hello boys and girls at home. What helpful hints do you have for us today, Helga? Today I'll be showing you how to fold a fitted sheet properly. Sounds well, great. Well, before I begin, do you mind holding my hat for me? Uh, okay. Thank you. Let's begin. Folding fitted sheets is super tricky, but this way is super easy and quick. Now, boys and girls at home, you might help your parents fold in laundry, and you'll have to know how to do this. First, what you'll need to do is shake out your fitted sheet and get it nice and straightened like this. And then put it behind you, put your hands in each in the corners, then get your foot in the corners as well and just really stretch your body. And then waddle forward, slowly, down. See, is this easy? The next step is you get your foot and your other hand and just fold over like your burrito. And then what you'll need to do is just stick your head out and then grab the corner of the sheet and put it in the other corner. And then stick your head and you have an arm free. Then you Get out your feet and roll, roll, roll out, roll out. Wasn't that so easy, boys and girls? Now we've created a nice, folded, and crisp sheet. Goodness me, my headband fell off. Be nice and carefully, fold your sheet in half and then in half again. Got it like this, plop it down. Get all the lines folded nice, crisp and clearly. Just gonna have to do a bunch of barrel rolls. Eat so it's nice and flat like that. There, doesn't that look nice? Let me give you a nice little look over the whole thing. It looks so perfect. Now you can just put it in your closet. Boys and girls, mom and dad will be so happy that you are helping at home. Kristen, my hat, okay. if you don't mind. Here's your hat. Thank you. Goodbye. Um, wow. That's one way to fold a sheet. 
boys and girls, I don't think that your parents will be too happy if you guys fold like that. <laughs> wow, she's something. You never know what you're gonna get. See you next time on Helpful Hints with Helga. See you next time on What's Good in the Hood.